Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, some new coat variations have come out, so I want to go check them out and see how it is. <laughs> okay, I need to have a look at the news. First stop, Marley's farm. Wait, why are my horses happy? What? I, I, do, I don't do stable care anymore. I don't... Pff. Okay, um, this looks like it. Okay, I'm not really a big fan, so. Moving on, <laughs> the Paso Fino is at Steve's, so I just passed that. I don't even know the Paso Finos that well, so I cannot tell which one is the new one. Oh, it's, oh. Oh, I am so sorry, but this horse, its back is scaring me. If someone has trypophobia or whatever, they would be horrified of this horse. They wouldn't get this horse. I wouldn't get this horse. Okay, moving on to Starshine Ranch. Whoa, the horses are all different. Like, I mean, where, where are all the other horses? Okay, this is the quarter horse. I actually don't mind it. It looks like, um, actually, I don't know what coat this is, but maybe it's done or something. I don't know, but I'm going to get it just for this for the fact that I have all the American Quarter Horses and so I have to keep getting them all, otherwise, you know, that ruins it. <gasps> I could call it Sugar Rush. <gasps> no! Are you serious? There's no rush? <gasps> oh! I really like the tail. It has like a reddish tint at the bottom. Morning Glow is actually kind of nice. Oh, that is a... I keep exiting. <laughs> I feel like we once had a club called Moon Force. I kind of feel like naming it that. I don't know. I don't. E I don't even remember the the club. Um, but I'm feeling it. I'm really. <laughs> yeah, I feel like doing that. Or I could do Wild Fox because that was once a club, and the owner was Sketch. I will admit that, but you know. That was one of the best moments I've ever had on Star Stable. But I'm gonna do Moon Force and I'm kind of feeling stallion. And probably adult. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> yes. This one, I don't know. It's definitely cute. Maybe if I change the mane, I might. Oh, braids are so cute with that horse. <gasps> no. This is too tempting. Whoa, that's an English thoroughbred mane. I had no idea this had that mane. Whoa, it really switched up that. I did not. I love that though. But I love these braids. Oh, I don't have much star coins. I'm going to waste all my star coins, bro. Sorry, my microphone died, but um, <laughs> the next thing that I want to get is a perfume from The Chemist. And once I save up for that... Oh, oh. Well, before the perfume, I have a Billie Eilish concert to go to, which is on Thursday, which is tomorrow. And I'm so excited. But I'm saving up the money that I have now to spend on the merch before the concert. Um, so I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then afterwards I'll get the perfume and then afterwards I will save up $65 and wait for the next level star coins. So it's okay, no hard feelings if I spend all my star coins. Okay, next one is in Valadale and then New Hill Crest. I'm gonna have to think about this horse before I buy it. <coughs> I have to get this one. Are you kidding me? Bridget just logged off. Bro, I haven't seen all the horses yet. Ah. I wish the trailer near Hillcrest was further up because, I mean, most people, I think a lot of people would trailer here for the race down there, but there should be one for like near Hillcrest Village. Bridget is being so disrespectful. She's saying that the Irish cob is so bad. I love it though. Why is it so smooth? I love that, like, that coat. You know, I would love to get them, but I'm gonna have to get the Irish Cob. 
Okay, let me see my star coins. Two, two, five, six. Take away eight hundred and fifty is one thousand four hundred six. So I definitely have enough to get the Irish cob and the nub strapper. Bridget cannot speak English on texting. She literally just said Iggs Lyle the Andy, but worse because all of the Andes are per gecked. Oh, she said it's like the Andy, but worse because all of the Andes are perfect. I get you. I understand. Okay. I, oh my gosh. I love this horse. Unbank. Oh, I need like I need a good name. I'm gonna have to do some random and get some ideas. Oh, I wonder if I can do Mockingjay. I'm obsessed with the Hunger Games. Mocking, mocking. <laughs> no, I could do mocking joy. That kind of works though, right? And then its nickname can be Katniss. That is such a good idea. Oh, look, kind of looks like a fox. I could call this. I can call this white um, wild fox and the Tinker mocking joy or Katniss. Wait, <gasps> no, there's no fox. Who does that? No! That was such a good idea! Why is there no fox? There's a fox in the first name? That is so annoying. Mockingjoy and it'll be meh youngster. Because Katniss is like 16 or something. That's like the youngster of life, right? Send to stable. Okay, let's go slay. Oh no, don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I say slay too much and it's so bad. Slay is a bad habit. I need to learn to stop saying slay because it's really not funny and it's really annoying and it's really pick me. Do you ever love a horse so much you wish you could buy it again for no reason? Like this one, I wish I could buy it again and train it up again because I love it so much. I need to ride it more though. And also, um, oh, pretty much these two tinkers, oh, Irish cob, sorry. And that Irish cob, that gray one. Oh, I could call it bread boy. So it's like Peter from the Hunger Games and then Peter and Katniss can be together. Oh, that's such a good idea. Cause they're both like chestnutty. Oh yes. And make this, I guess, stallion. Um, yeah, good enough. I can't believe it. I just bought three horses. <gasps> oh, my star coins. Oh, my star coins. <gasps> I'm in shock. <laughs> oh, I have too many horses. Way too many horses. Also, I'm so sorry I haven't posted in so long. It's been like four months. I I think so. Oh, it's such a good it's um such a good thing because it has braids, and Katniss always wears a braid. I'm so obsessed with the Umbrella Academy. I really want to name a horse after someone in the Umbrella Academy. Like I need that theme going on. So here's Moon Force. Ooh. So what I do is I organize them by the by the either their name or their breed and I just put in the ones that need training. So next up is Fairy Kate. Then Oh, oh, that's why I was so confused. Sorry. This is in the wrong page. I yeah. <laughs> okay. So first is Daisy Jew and then Bright Light. Nightwish. So here are all the A's. All the A's that need training. Still going strong with these A's. <laughs> My goodness. <gasps> we have our first non-A horse, the Brinnacle. And then Fancy Flower. <gasps> Wait. This horse and um Moon Force. Hold on. Stop. They are like the same, almost, almost the same. Oh, 
seriously um yeah then i get a a random number generator between 1 and 18 because that's how many stalls there are for me i have the maximum upgraded stalls and whatever number it lands on uh say i land on 12 so i go like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then i train that horse up one level and then i do it again and train the next horse up another level whatever number it chooses so I, I like that system it gives me a bit of a mix because i hate just riding one horse for eternity and then it's over and then you're either sick of it or you miss it and you know this way you get them all done slowly but like in the end it'll all be worth it and you know big big time so thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you hopefully soon um yeah <laughs> I, it has been so long i'm so sorry but yeah i'll see you in the next one bye